In chapter 9, we covered one sample tests for hypothesis testing of the population proportion and the population mean. In chapter 12, it's one sample testing for the population standard deviation. And so we're going to go over an example in this video from the problem 12.42 on page 493 in the book. In this problem, you can see that the researcher here wants to estimate the sample standard deviation because they're trying to decide on a sample size. If you remember the sample size calculation, it's n equals z squared times the population standard deviation squared divided by the error squared. And so he's going to estimate this value. And the claim is that he makes is that the population standard deviation is equal to $200. If we remember the steps of the hypothesis test, once we have a claim, we convert that into hypotheses. And so I just need to make sure we make sure need to make sure we call this a claim since that's what the researcher claims. And from there we get our hypotheses. And so the null hypothesis is the claim since it has the equal sign and it's two hundred dollars. The alternative is it the it's not equal to two hundred dollars. Okay, so we've got our hypotheses. The next step is to look at what sampling distribution this is. And this is different from chapter nine. This is a new distribution. Since they are standard deviations, the appropriate sampling distribution is the chi square distribution. Okay. Now the chi square looks very much like a bell shaped curve, it's just um, slightly skewed. So I'm going to draw a picture of the bell shaped curve. It would look kind of like this skewed right. Okay. And uh, now we know the sampling distribution. Which tails are we concerned about? Since it's not equals in the alternative hypothesis. It's going to be a two-tailed test. So there's going to be rejection regions on both sides of this sampling distribution. Okay, And as in previous examples, we're going to need the critical values. Just now they're called chi-square critical values. And uh, they're not from a symmetric distribution. And so it's just not going to be a plus or minus value like we had with Z distributions and T distributions. They're going to be different. So we're going to walk through the process. Now to remember what's happening here, um, the sample size is going to be important because to get the critical value for the chi-square distribution, we're going to need the degrees of freedom, which is N minus 1. And uh, you can see that uh, in this problem, the sample size is 25, so we can say n equals 25. Degrees of freedom is 24 then. Also, we do have some sample statistics, which we'll use a little bit later, but I'll just make a note of that now. The sample standard deviation is 237.52. Okay. So the Minitab program can give us these critical values. You can go to the back of the book and look this up in a chart as with other values, but we want to do this in Minitab. So I'm going to switch to Minitab. I'm going to go to the graph area. And I'm going to go to probability distribution plot. I'm going to click view probability and hit OK. And for distribution, I'm going to select the chi-square distribution. And it's up at the top. Degrees of freedom, remember, was 24 because our sample size was 25. Our shaded area, we click probability. We choose both tails. And our alpha, I remember seeing that. Let's go back to that. 
It says that uh, at the 0 0.05 level of significance, there's evidence. Is there evidence that the population standard deviation is different from 200? Okay, so when we go back to mini tab, alpha is 0 0.05. We're okay there. We can hit OK. And you see that our chi square critical values are 12.4 and 39.36. So we can call this one. 12.94 and 39.36. Okay, so that defines our rejection regions. Um, the next step for the chi square distribution, once we've got the rejection regions, we want to use our sample statistics given here to compute a p value. Um, we can also compute the chi-square stat value, chi-square stat, which we would plot on the graph where the rejection regions are. The p-value we would just compare with alpha. So let's go back to mini tab. Minimize this window. Go to stat, basic statistics, and you'll see down here it's got one variance as an option. I'm going to click on one variance. It gives me the choice, the samples are in columns, or the sample standard deviation is what I have. So I choose that option under the data drop down menu. Under sample size, the sample size was 25. The standard deviation, I think it was 237.50. Let me see. 237.52, actually. I do want to perform a hypothesis test, so I click that box. And my hypothesized standard deviation is already selected, but you'll notice that I could choose variance if that's the data that I've been given. So the hypothesized standard deviation was $200. The options, we want to make sure that we've got the alpha represented by the confidence level. 1 minus alpha is 95% here, so that's correct. The alternative is not equal to because we just want to see if the standard deviation is different from the claimed standard deviation. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And we get our test statistic, which is our chi-square stat. We're given our p-value, which is 0.175. Now already, we know that alpha is 0.05. I can already tell that I'm not going to reject the null hypothesis. But uh, let's go back to our notebook. And so our p-value equals 0.175 which is greater than alpha. So we fail to reject H0. So we don't reject the null hypothesis where we said that, where the researcher claimed that the standard deviation was 200. Okay, so we don't have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. We can say that. The statistical response is there's not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. And the business response would be, The business response would be, there is not enough evidence to use a different standard deviation than $200 to compute sample size for the auto repair study. And that is a complex answer, but that relates what we've done back to the problem that was discussed at the beginning. And so that is an example of a one sample standard deviation hypothesis test.